Hey Brad, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. I got your plan and your roof problem, I think, sorted out. I think, I think. So I went ahead and uh, zipped over to Google and looked at the roof the way the address that you supplied there. Uh, so you're looking to put a gable, 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 and I think there's a little even gable on the back side there, on your plan, which was here, saying so you're struggling with. So yeah, we can do that. Let's... Um, Let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off your paper. See, how it looks like it's on a piece of paper with a gray background. I don't know why, but that kind of bugs me personally. So there's a button over here to just turn off the piece of paper. A piece of paper is nice for like centering things, but not necessarily with the layout. It's not that important to even use. Uh, so I like how you built the roof plan set the way I like to set it up. I mean, this is great. So you're doing good. Um, so some of the things that might help in this design um, this roof is kind of jolting out here where uh, the actual roof just goes straight across. And you want a gable here, gable here, gable here, and gable there. So let me show you a little trick about roof tools that most people don't actually know or even use. But if I were to double click this, I can go into my roof tool and I can say, make roof baseline polylines. Also, you have an 812 pitch, and from the picture, this looks more like a 412, so I'm just going to assume 412. I can kind of see in the picture here, it doesn't look like it's an 8 over there, so I'm going to adjust this to run at a 412 pitch. And then I'm going to click OK. And the layer's not on. It says, hey, uh, the roof is going to be deleted. Is that OK? Yeah, it's going to be OK. And the layer of the polyline is not on. Do you want to turn on? Yeah, let's turn it on. So it deletes the roof and turns on this uh, layer. And if I zoom in here, I'll see that I have this 4 and 12, 4 and 12, 4 and 12 line that has been created. It's a baseline polyline. And now I can assign it to where I want. For instance, I'm going to hit spacebar to get my selection tool back. I'm going to grab this line. I'm going to drag it up and down, and I'm just going to line it up with this line exactly. So it's all 412. And there's even a knot there which I could pull out and then put on this end of it. And just kind of get rid of the knot if I wanted to, or I could have left it. It's not that big of a deal. But basically, I'm telling the computer, yeah, pull a full 12 there and pull a full 12, you know, around here. This side, I want to be gable, so I'll double click that and, and I'll change it to a full gable wall. And you'll notice the nomenclature changes to VG or vertical G. Uh, so we're going to assign that a gable. Yep, because we know that's a gable. And we're going to double click this and we're going to make that a gable. Mm, that sounds good. And one last one was here. I'll double click that and also make that a full gable. So I've made this a gable gable and then it hips right on around for the rest of it, which is great. Now the only thing left is to just to take a close look at that picture and I can see there's a gable literally running from left to right on this job. And it looks like it starts off the plate line here and it almost ends at the plate line, which is about here. And then you notice that that, that roof pulled out even lower. So I'm going to assume that's the plate height right there, which is probably pretty accurate. So in other words, this is the plate height right there. So I'm going to take a three or the cut tool. Um, let's see if I were to drag this down to the bottom. Uh, you can go and you can use this tool right here, the cut tool, break line. So I'm going to break it right about there along the edge of this one. And then I'm going to hit three on the keyboard, which is the same breaking mechanism. And I'm going to line it up with this one here, break there. And just so I'm accurate, I can pull this out and move this up and down until it touches that exactly. And move that up and down until it touches that exactly. And then we're going to do the same thing here, hit three, and I'm going to break it right there. And again, this guy I could pull out a little long and use this as my connection. Now, I want to I want to make sure this vertical V is actually a hip wall there. It's not um, a vertical V. That's 412. This is going to be gable. So we're going to full gable that. So I want a full gable right on through. I'm going to come in here, double click this. I don't want this uh, against wall. I want it hip here. And I want a hip there as well. So sometimes you have to reassign that line to where you want it. But within a relatively easy adjustment, I think I've got it right. So now I can go back to my roof tool, double click this bad boy and say build roof planes and click OK. And it should have built it pretty well. Oh, I screwed that up. That needs to be a full gable wall. I can see now that it hipped down. So I'm just going to double click that bad boy and let's turn on automatic roof this time so we can kind of build it as we go. But basically this moving on through. Now notice it created a different little line here, a little tiny hiccup there. And that's because this line is not accurately lining up exactly with that line.
But once you do, that line is now gone. Great. And then I'm going to move it back in to about there. And I can move it back in to about there, just to where I get the, the hip pretty much where I want it. So I'm going to go back in and put it right about there. There we go. And there it is. And so now I'm going to go to the 3D view. And it's all set to look just like the actual house because I use the baseline polyline tool, which came in and if we can see it both on the camera, something like this should look exactly like that. Does that look right? That looks semi right. Yep, it looks good. And then again, you could just undo automatic roof and then take this edge, which is this edge, and pull it down. So you can get it further. This operation will turn off automatic roofs. You say, okay. And then even in that, you can get even more specific. Let's see if I go back here. I can take this roof plane. I can hit three and I can keep on cutting it. So maybe if I think the roof comes like this, uh, three cut it here. Maybe it comes like this on the other side. You know, totally up to you how you want to move that around or how it finishes off. Totally up to you. So... That's messing with roofs here at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys again soon.